Well, hello everyone. Hi everyone. So this is the uh, what we call the uh, house tour. But the house is not ready yet, so we're going to show you the space. Does it already look like it's done up? I mean, actually. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so we wanted to take you through the home tour from the doorstep itself, and so come inside. This is the door and gate that was left by our previous owners that we actually took an Instagram poll to see whether should we keep them but of course everyone said no and of course we have decided not to keep them Okay, I'm very afraid of cockroaches so we came in, we cleaned up the space a little bit also because we wanted to give a very good impression first impression to all the contractors who walk in and are going to look at our space so yeah, anyways, it is our home so we wanted to start keeping it clean from now itself now itself so yeah, this coming back to the living space it's actually a very very big living space and this is something that actually um, excited us when we first came to see this house because we love to have a very big living room and also from outside when, when someone is walking past our house we like that you know it looks very spacious and big it's just nice to have a very big living space so we have we heard about a family who is in need and then we thought that you know since we're not going to keep the air conditions might as well you know, donate it to them and it, it is in really pretty good condition I mean if you can see we are actually using it now because it's a very hot evening we are still figuring out uh, you know there's so many uh, different things to consider when uh, getting an air condition especially like what what is that is it CC what, what is it 9k yeah so there's a lot of different spaces so for the different spaces right so we need to see what is compatible for the kind of layout that we are going to go for so our previous owner they uh, couldn't dispose this tv cabinet so they left it to us, left it to us. <laughs> so yeah i mean if you are planning to buy a resale flat and you know if you come into the space and your previous owners tell you that hey you know could you help us dispose this and everything just know that you gotta pay for it. If you're gonna dispose anything for them, you're gonna pay for it. So it's best if you are a resale, uh, if you're gonna sell your flat, please dispose everything. And if you're gonna buy a resale flat, then you know make sure that you, you know, check all these things because now we have to pay a little bit extra to get rid of it. So I'm gonna take over the tour as we enter the other rooms. I feel like I'm on stack now, like the host of stack. <laughs> as we enter the other room, you can see a very spacious master bedroom and if you and as you can see this spacious master bedroom has built-in wardrobe and also okay, this okay fine all right so as you can see this is the master bedroom and there's one thing floor is marble flooring now me and pavitra my wife we're not really big fans of this marble flooring but we're we did the Instagram poll thing, right, dear? Yeah, we did. And the Instagram everyone's poll like, keep the marble. And, you know, we researched and, you know, found out more things about marble and how actually it really looks good. The moment I entered this house, I really just wanted to tear down the marble, the marble flooring and, you know, go for tiles and stuff like that. And then we went into the idea of vinyling the place. And then now, where the spot whereby we found out that the marble, right? can actually be honed, not to give a glossy finish. So we're actually toying with the idea. So stay tuned and find out what we're actually gonna be deciding on in terms of when it comes to the floor. And of course, this master bedroom has the master toilet. And there's one thing that really irks me is, why is the toilet bowl always in the center of the toilet, right? I mean, they could have put it in a corner or you know just just give us a bit more space to play like you know so that we can put a bathtub or i don't know make a larger you know vanity area and stuff like that or a larger shower space but right now it's just right smack in the middle thank you very much now the space what can i say about the space with this carpentry all out it's going to be very spacious but we are discussing about some plans about what to do to this room, but we have to speak about the windows. I mean, it's large. I'll do the storeroom as well. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is the storeroom. So what the previous owners did was, they actually made the storeroom smaller so that they can make the other two rooms have more space for their wardrobe. So as you can see, this is the storeroom. What are we gonna do with it? 
we'll figure it out. And this is another room, quite spacious as well. Of course, it's going to be quite, quite spacious at the moment because it's not populated with any furnishing or carpentry. But uh, as for the previous owners or for this space that we have at hand, we have a built-in wardrobe here. So that's that. Oh, they left a hanger. You did notice that the storeroom right, is smaller because they hacked away this space here to build their wardrobe. So they have more space for the carpentry. And here we have the other room. One thing I do not understand is this wall right here. What is this wall for? For me to stand here and like... But yeah, this wall has to go. Now we're gonna go and check out the kitchen. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Okay, as you can see, it is um, connected with the service balcony. And actually, it is quite a spacious kitchen because they don't really have carpentries on both sides and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, they don't have carpentry on this side. But so they. This carpentry is very cute because you can't store anything. But you can't store it's anything. To hide the gas pipes. Yeah. So yeah. So hacking, we're gonna hack the whole kitchen. I mean. The rule of thumb when it comes to renovation is always hack away the kitchens and always hack away the toilets. So you have to always do that because waterproofing and then you know these are spaces that have been very much used. So you have to really hack away everything and you know just redo it. So we really have very exciting plans for our kitchen. Yeah, which I would love to reveal, but I think it's best that we keep it a little secret from you guys. And then, um, yeah, then y'all can see what we have done with the space. And then over here is our service, service balcony. So our toilet is, uh, our common toilet is in the service balcony. Yeah, also pretty much the same size as the one in our master bedroom. And one thing I really love is that, of course, like most um, HDV blocks, ours is also more or less facing another block but we have this like trees you know hiding the other block from us so in the daytime when we come back again in the day or you know I probably have some footage that we can insert here we just see trees from our kitchen window service balcony window and I love that yeah I really like that so this is little things that you know we took note of when we were actually coming to choose our flats that we wanted a I mean it's quite impossible to get an uh, you know perfect view all the time so for us, we are very, very happy that, you know, when we open our windows, we actually get to see trees. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the kitchen. So everything is going to go, going to be hacked away. And yeah, we're very excited. This is the space that I think I'm most excited about. So yeah, this is a question that we get asked so many times. Like, why is it taking so long for us to start our renovation process? Okay, so basically we are... Uh, we were planning our wedding, so we didn't want to have two very big and major events happening at the same time. We wanted to really focus on the wedding and thereafter focus on the house because this is going to be, whether or not it's going to be our forever home, I'm not sure, but at least it's, it's going to be a space that we're going to be coming back to every day. We don't want to rush the process. We really, both of us are very, very uh, inspired about designing the space on our own. So that is why we went through the contractor route instead of the ID route. Oh, which already revealed to them yeah, I said contractors. Contractor. Contractors are coming in, and we are going to design this house. I mean, the design for the house. I mean, is going we are the ID. We already know what the space is. It's going to be. Like. Yeah, yeah, and we think that this is really a good decision. But of course, we need to finish our whole entire renovation process. Then we can give you the final yeah, and the full. Yeah, the pros and cons. I yeah. mean, you can sit here and say, you know, you can go this route. This is better. This yeah. is easier. But you know. At the end of the day, every decision that we make or you have made is going to have its pros and cons. And mm -hmm. we're just going to wait and see which one is going to suit us better. And yeah. of course, this journey is very new. Mm -hmm. and so it's going to be a learning curve for, for both, of both of us. Yeah, so we've already been learning so much. So a lot more to learn, a lot more to share with you guys but as well. But the good thing is that through these video uploads, yeah. we can also hear your comments. So yeah. 
It's very important to us. So please do drop us comments if you own a resale house. How did you go through the process? And also you can follow us on our Instagram. Oh yeah. It, it is called the video which we will link below. Mm -hmm. So you can actually see um, our process. And also follow us. Yeah, and follow us. Yeah. yeah. So I guess for our home video today, we kind of more or less covered everything. Mm -hmm. And you also kind of understand why we took a while to do this whole uh, renovation process and it's going to start very very soon and that is why we quickly wanted to come and document the house before you know everything is taken apart and looks different so yeah yes. so i guess probably this is the last time that we are going to see the house in this state. in this state